battery and performance. 3,000 mAh battery offers same performance as predecessor. Plenty of power under the hood keeps Android 8 smooth. We are going to run full Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus battery live tests in the final review, but we already know that it has a 3,500 mAh capacity battery, the same as the Galaxy S8 Plus. That's still bigger than the 3,000 mAh and 3,300 mAh equipped Galaxy S9 and Note 8, so you should still get all day battery life or better with this smartphone, even with consistent use. We were hoping to eke out a few more hours courtesy of the new more efficiency chipsets that power the S9 and S9 Plus, but Samsung says we should expect similar battery performance. We'll do more comprehensive battery draining and charging tests after MWC 2018. The Galaxy S9 Plus should prove to be faster than last year Samsung flagships thanks to utilizing Samsung's own Exynos 9810, globally, or the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 chipset, in the US and China to support both CDMA and GSM carriers. There's also 6GB of RAM on board compared to the S9 with 4GB of RAM. We've run the same Snapdragon 845 chipsets on the Qualcomm reference phone and saw a 30% speed boost over the S8 Plus and Note 8 performance. Now that sits in the Galaxy S9, we'll have to rerun the same test to see where it stands inside Samsung's hardware. Don't worry about the overbearing software this year. The Galaxy S9 runs streamlined menus as part of its Samsung Experience software overlay that's on top of Android 8.0 Oreo. It's not called TouchWiz anymore and not nearly as big of a turn off next to stock Android. You're getting 64GB of storage, the Galaxy S9 Plus has just one internal storage configuration, and a spot for a microSD card so you can add up to 200GB of additional space if you need to. With LG and Apple now upgrading everyone to 256GB options, for a higher price, this is the one area in which Samsung has held back.